if you're like me and you've been pulling your hair, why hardware acceleration does not work for your Arc GPU in Jellyfin using Open Media Files, I found a solution. So in this video, I am going to guide you through how to set up Jellyfin hardware acceleration for Intel Arc GPUs. So first, quickly go to the plugin settings in system and then type in kernel. Then right here, download the latest kernel version. Then you see a kernel tab appear right here, right below plugins. And normally you don't see the 6.11 versions, you only see 6.1. But 6.1 has some issues with Arc GPUs. Luckily it is fairly easy. The thing you need to do is click Proxmox right here and basically install any version 6.5 or later. Personally, I just went straight up to 6.11. 6.11 is installed and I haven't had any issues with it at all. You can afterwards probably also remove the 6.1 release, um, but for now I'm just going to keep it in case there are some incompatibilities. And once that is set up, we can go to Docker. And right here, if we see our Docker image, we can see it's all properly set up. And here for devices, you can add your GPU. It is simply the dev DRI. Group add is not needed, and that will also be removed in a future iteration of this Docker Compose file, which is in the description below. But that's also added, and the rest is just the default setup. So now if we go to Jellyfin, you can see right here Intel QuickSync, which is great. We don't have to specify the device because we just have one GPU. The Arc GPUs support a lot of encoding, even AV1, which is great. And you can just tune these however you see fit. To save some power, I did enable the low power mode. I'm not sure if it uses, if it this decreases the quality. If so, please let me know. But I currently haven't noticed any quality loss since the encoding is quite good on the Arc card. And you can use the VPP tone mapping, which is the Intel driver-based tone mapping, which is a lot more energy efficient. Settings should be pretty much the default. I don't think I have changed that much here. Um, otherwise, pause the video really fast. From the settings for the playback, here are the settings I currently use. It is, I think, again, pretty much a default. I think I did use the prefer FMP4 HLS media containers to stream HEVC video. But that's about it. That's all I have changed. And this completely fixed hardware acceleration for me. I really hope you found this useful. This was such a hassle to get working and it's such an easy fix. So I hope this helped. If it did, definitely let me know. And I hope you can subscribe then because that really helps out the channel. And I hope I can make some more Open Media Vault videos in the future.